Hey everybody, it's Charlie from DM Sound. Today we've got the sound system demo on the 2023 Ford Bronco and its seven speaker audio system. This is gonna be an in-depth review. We're gonna take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio inputs, adjustments, and controls, speaker locations. Then we're gonna head out on the road and listen to these sample tracks at 70 miles per hour, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now, if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning and you just wanna hear the music, click ahead in the video. We've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And I recommend listening with headphones so you can hear exactly what I hear in the driver's seat. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. I have had so much fun driving this Bronco around this week. This is the, woo, Ford honk. This is the heritage version. So you got these cool white accents as well as the red Ford lettering there. Some fun striping along the side. And it's a manual. It's a four door with a 2.3 liter manual Sasquatch package. It's, uh, it's still kind of dirty here from us doing some fun off-roading. So check the link in the description if you want to see more on it. This is a really fun package. We've also got videos on the upgraded Bronco sound system from previous Broncos that we've tested, so I'll throw the link in there as well. Now we always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed wave files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system, and high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory default, so let's take a look at those now. The smaller infotainment system here in the Bronco, but it works quite well, I will say. We're in the media screen now, let's go to settings and then sound. Under tone settings, we've got treble, mid-range, and bass. Let's go through those. Below that, you have adjustments for front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance. You can kind of move it around the cabin like that. Set. Speed compensated volume, so as you get going faster and hear these all-terrain tires whirring away, the music will lift up for that. And then an occupancy mode. This will focus the sound on just the driver, if you choose driver or all seats. We'll go through both of those. If you're just driving the car around alone most of the time, I highly recommend using driver. It's gonna be more of like a headphone style experience. It sounds a little bit better. And that's it for audio adjustments. For controls here in the Bronco, you've got a nice volume knob here. Even if you're wearing gloves, your hands are a little dirty. You've got good clicks and a good grabability. You've also got volume on the left side of the wheel. For track selection, you have physical controls here, a tuning knob here. You can use the touch screen if you're on the proper menu and physical controls on the right side there. For audio inputs in the Bronco, you have your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio, Bluetooth streaming, wired and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto support, USB-A and USB-C. What does that mean you're missing? Well, there's no 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, not a big deal. Also, no sort of built-in streaming services like Spotify or anything like that. Speaker locations. As I said, this is a seven speaker system. Starting in the bottom left, it's actually not in the door, it's way down there in the fire, uh, kind of right down there about where my foot's kicking. You've got sort of a woofer mid-ranger one, tweeter mid-ranger two, three, four on the other side. Looking in the back, five, six are up here in these roll bars. You can see those. And then, fortunately, Ford did put a subwoofer in here, right there, helping things sound better and making it seven speakers. All right, I'm gonna get this stuff put away. We're gonna head out on the road.
Now, the clarity isn't fantastic, but all things considered, I'm pretty happy with how they balanced these upper mid-ranger kind of tweeter starter speakers up here, and then the, the speakers down lower into the firewall. They, they do pretty well together. You can actually crank up some music and enjoy listening to it, even on this, uh, this more basic system. So the fact that it's not coming through really harsh in my ears is good. And yeah, it's, it's not super impressive, but I, did, I haven't minded just driving this thing around listening to music lately. For this next track, we'll turn the bass all the way up and see if it really falls apart. <laughs> Already here, it's not great. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of fading, a lot of slap, not any mirror shakage. Eh. Well, it's a big surprise. seven speaker system here in the Ford Bronco. Yes, with this Sasquatch package, these big all-terrain tires whirring around at highway speeds, there is a lot of sound conflict. So things aren't sounding super crisp. There were definitely tracks that I was listening to earlier, more rock heavy, complex sort of tracks that you're not hearing all the elements of your music. But a little bit lower speed and more or less complex sort of music, this system's really not too bad. I mean, you know, for 50 some thousand dollars like this one is, definitely not great. But I am gonna sneak it in at just barely a C rating here. That's average, it's just a little bit below average, and I think that's where this system deserves to be. It's not that bad to listen to. You, should, you can listen to all of your favorite tracks and still at least enjoy listening to them. If you do wanna step up, that's what that B&O system's for. So thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more on the Bronco, check the link in the description. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from DM Sound, and as always, drive on. <laughs>